we're currently on the brink of an energy revolution. Recent developments in semiconductor technology has resulted in lower costs, higher efficiencies, and better performance. Control circuitry is moving from custom analog designs to reconfigurable FPGA-based systems. Over the last decade, the solar energy market has increased 28 times over, from 2.5 to 71 billion US dollars, and this is predicted to continue. Our system takes power from a solar panel, which is then supplemented by an external DC power supply, which is then used to generate a three-phase AC voltage. During the development of this project, we used a modular system design approach. Initially, we simulated our circuits using NI Multisim, and thanks to LabVIEW Co Simulation, we were able to evaluate the performance of our control algorithms with the circuit we simulated in NI Multisim. Our system can be broken down into a number of subsystems. Firstly, a solar panel is used to provide the power for the circuitry. The panel converts light energy that falls on the solar cells into electrical energy. At the core of our project, we used an NI Single Board Rio General Purpose Inverter Controller. The GPIC is a cost-effective deployment-ready embedded system which contains a large number of analog and digital I.O. for FPGA-based power electronic systems. At the DC to DC stage, the solar energy has now been converted from a light dependent voltage into a constant 12 volt supply. This was achieved using a buck converter. In order to maximize the solar panel's efficiency, the output voltage had to be controlled precisely. For the inverter stage, we used an evaluation board from ST Electronics. The six IGBTs on the board enabled us to easily generate and monitor the three phase voltage source, which was then used to power our motor. To demonstrate how our system had successfully generated a three-phase AC voltage, we connected our output to a three-phase brushless motor. Initially, we need to connect the SB Rio. On the user interface, we have a system diagram containing a solar panel, external power supply, back converter, inverter and motor. We also have control over the amount of light supplied to the solar panel as seen here. On this graph we can see the live electrical signals from the system. To see our project in action, let's switch on the external supply relay. The external line became active and now we can start the motor. Once the motor has started, you can observe the externally supplied power flow, which is 14.5 watts. Let's increase the amount of light supplied by moving the sun. As expected, the voltage of the solar panel increases. Closing the solar relay connects the solar panel to the back converter. Initiating the maximum power point tracking sweep forces the system to find the most efficient power output from the solar panel, decreasing the amount of external power drawn. We can vary the speed of the motor using the arrow controls. Behind the scenes, this is done by varying the frequency of the three-phase signal supplied to the motor. The project also has a number of safety features. For example, if the motor is stopped by a user, the relays automatically switch off and the power to the motor is cut. If the connection is lost, the system will automatically shut down. <laughs> 